All right, so now that you have successfully installed Lightburn and you decided to use either your Mac or your PC, uh, that's a good thing about Lightburn is that it's compatible with both systems. Now, the next thing that you would have to do is make sure you have the USB drive that was provided to you because we're going to actually need that for this next step. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to turn on your laser and then you're going to connect your laser with the USB cable provided and you're going to click on devices. You're going to go to find my laser. You're going to hit next and then Lightroom is going to actually uh, scan for connected devices. And it might take a little bit long, but don't worry, it'll get done. If your wheel starts spinning or if it starts lagging or whatever the case it might be, it'll come. Uh, one thing to note is that the system is going to detect the lens that is actually on your laser. So in my case, the lens that's on my laser right now is the 210 by 210. Don't get confused because right here it says 110 by 110, but I can confirm that it's the 210 by 210. So we're going to hit add device. We're going to get a uh, hit on import easy cat, easy cat configuration. You're going to go to the USB drive that was provided to you because I know that the first lens that I'm going to set up is a 210 by 210. I'm going to hit on 210 by 210. I'm going to hit easy cat. I'm going to hit plug. Then I'm going to import the mark CFG seven file. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to hit next. And then here, I'm going to rename it to 210 by 210. Hit next. Hit finish. Now, we're going to double click on this. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to go through the formalities again. We're going to hit next. We're going to we're going to leave it actually we're going to rename this to 110 by 10. Remove the word duplicate. Don't change any configurations here yet. We're going to go to hit next, hit finish. Now we're going to go to the one that's 110 by 110. We're going to edit it. We're going to hit next. We're going to import. We're going to go back to the USB drive. Go to 110 by 110, the easy cat folder. We're going to go to plug. We're going to input the mark CFG7 file. We're going to hit next and it automatically does it for you. Hit next, finish. Hit OK, and that is how you add your laser to the Light Burn program. So stay tuned for the next video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the Houtian Laser channel for more educational content like this. And make sure you guys hit that bell notification. We'll see you guys in the next one.